Hello everybody, welcome. So I'll show you how to implement uh, Stripe single time payments with Express and uh, React as the front end. Um, first of all, before the tutorial does start, you should register on Stripe.com and then open the dashboard in a tab and then we'll get back to it since we'll need to use some uh, some keys and stuff from here. Open the official Stripe developer documentation uh, here. And also the base code I'll have here is a basic hello world app in Express and the React base I have is just like a simple page with an email input uh, that I created and used before in my Flask Stripe tutorial. So once you get into the docs, you should go to accept online payments, accept the card payment, and you'll be greeted by the following page. We'll just follow this since it might change a little bit over time, but if you know the steps, it's, it should basically be the same thing uh, every time. So after you do set up the server, you should install Stripe. So we'll do that real quick. Uh, once that is done, what we want to do is create a route on, and then on, when a request is sent to that route, we want to create a payment intent, which the user can then use to pay. So we're going to create a um, post route actually. Uh, let me make slash okay slash pay <laughs> and then uh, do that in here we'll create a payment intent so this is the amount that the user will pay this is uh, actually 10 bucks so what we want to do is put like 500 5,000 for 500 bucks uh, this integration check um, is a new thing that has to do with this test integration that I have now in Stripe. You can put that in or you don't have to. It doesn't really affect anything. It's just for testing. And then what we want to put here is also the recipient um, email, which will be the email we get from this route. So what we'll do is say const email is going to equal request buddy. And we'll get the email from there and then we'll have the payment sent. And then what we want to send back to the client is uh, the actual so response sent. So response is actually JSON. So what we want to send back is JSON. And what we want to send back is the client secret. I'll put it in quotes. Uh, and then now what we want to send is the payment intent. And then the client secret that is inside of that and that's basically everything we need to do on the back end which is create a payment intent and then send it back and the reason I use this email is just so you would have like an email so when you use hooks you can know specifically for who who used the payment okay so that's basically it when it comes to the back end now let's go to the front end and uh, and do some work there so on the front end, we need to install these two packages, Stripe React and uh, Stripe JS. We need to encompass the entire app with the elements uh, component and then give it a Stripe promise. So that contains the public key. So let's go to app JS, put the Stripe promise in there, import these two. I'll put them like stripe and then uh, we want to take the elements and we want to encompass uh well you can put the whole app or you could just put the uh component that actually contains the um the actual card element which we will define right here so this this is the card element for that i'll just create a new component so new file uh, card input.js this will be the card input it's going to be a functional component and then i'll import the card elements from the well from the stripe package and then i'll copy most of the, i'll copy this bit and then we just need the card elements with the options in here and then that's done and then we'll also copy the CSS, uh, the basic CSS they provide here. I'll put it in the index.scss file. Obviously, um, you could style this if you want your own way. 
you don't really need to copy their uh, CSS and then we'll copy this this entire thing and I'll explain what it is in a little bit so um, right here and then import all the stripe things so you could just co keep copying the same way I am it's not gonna stripe okay so here we import like the stripe hooks and the card element the card element is a reference to to this uh, these hooks allow us to uh, enable stripe and also like the elements part of the package the handle submit function is the fun the function that we will call when a button is clicked to, for the payment to be processed it will obviously first of all well first of all what we need to do in here it will check is stripe and the elements are they both loaded if not it won't work if they are what we need to do i just need to check if i have axios installed and i do uh if they are in which which they are if they are loaded we will make a um axios request so right here we will say const response equals axios dot post so we want to post it to uh http local host 3000 slash pay and then we want to post here is the the payload is just going to have an email which will be the email of the that the user entered before probably gonna put that in a try and catch block so try this actually we, we, we won't be doing that now we'll put everything in a try and catch block a bit later so and then from the response we'll have the const client secret which is gonna be response data client secret that's where the client secret that we will use to actually confirm the payment will be located so then we put the client secret right here uh, we won't be giving the name but instead the email of the user in the billing details section of the confirmation of the card payment and then if the payment is successful we want to just console that log money is in the bank so what we want to do now is add a handle on here on pay on click we want to add an on click and then in there we just want to trigger this handle submit function um, and the last thing we want to do is actually import this component so custom components we want to import card input from dot slash card input and what we want to do is just put it right like here i guess doesn't really matter what and that should be it we have some errors some vulnerabilities that just do npm audit fix that should fix them i think it's just like some minor like dependency of a dependency being uh, invalid but let me check if i did do everything yes and then we can now do the checks and i believe we're kind of done so as soon as this is done i will uh do these checks with the cards um and then you know and then everything should be fine so npm start let's see if that works and then the back end also npm start uh, there's an error await is only okay yeah so what we need to do is say this is an async function and then click start again example app listening on port 3000 this also works uh let's go so here if i said the email is test at test.com and then we use the 42424242422222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222
let's do that real quick because we can't really parse a body if there is no body parser we can't use it there so um so up here i'll define the body parser and then let me copy this because i don't like to type I'll even, I'll, I'll even copy the comment right like both of these so right there there you go now it should be fine and have no issues so i'll even actually uh, console.log the email right here uh, right okay so now if we send a request again click pay um stripe is not defined okay uh, that also is an issue i didn't imp import stripe at the top of the uh the back end which is done by typing this so yeah i'm not gonna edit this out because this is what usually you will have what will happen when you're actually developing an app you will go through these uh, issues so click pay what's the issue now uh, yes, yes, I did mean recipient. Oh, I, I, I misspelled it. Receipt email, yeah, my bad. Um, okay, now it should be fine. Finally. It's still not fine. Uh, I did not restart this. Is, oh, I didn't save. I'm sorry. Um, clear. NPM start. Now it should work. Post. Uh, client secret of undefined. So let's check the network. We have this pay. It returns a response. Client secret. The issue now is that cannot read property client secret of undefined. So let's go to the front end. Go up here. So client secret response. Oh, I need to await this. That is the uh, that is the one thing I did forget to do. And this is all I, that now it should all work uh, as intended. So, uh, big, please, big test at email, uh, email dot com, four two four two four two four two 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 two. Click pay. Your postal code is incomplete. I need number two. Clear this, click pay again. Money's in the bank. Uh, let's check the back end. It just console logs the email. And then if we go to our bat dashboard and go to payments, we have two incomplete payments from before, but we do have this one, which just got paid with the email big test at email.com. So that's really about it. When it comes to payments, uh, we could also just click run tests. Yeah, and it will tell you like, yeah, this passed and then we can copy this card as well and see if this works right. So then we'll type in like big test two and then we'll use this card and then click pay. And then this one has like authentication. So usually here what you'll have instead of these two, you'll have like uh, send me a, a message, like a text message, SMS or uh, like a verify by chip. Uh, 3d scan whatever and then if you click complete it's gonna work money's in the bank and then we check this again this works and then this one is always going to be declined with insufficient funds so if we use that one your card has insufficient funds and then if you run the tests oh look at that all the tests pass we did uh, we did it it works so that's about it um hope you learned something new hope you know how to set up your own payments and if you don't you can still just check the description the code will be there and you can just uh steal a bit of the code i'll i'll delete this yeah anyway thank you for watching goodbye